that may require or may need assistance, please lead them to my direction. Um, there's a lot of veterans out here that really don't want to utilize their benefits, um, but unfortunately, they really do need them because everybody here, all the veterans, I mean, we all know we're numbers. So we're basically validated through numbers. So when I say numbers, each veteran receives their own allotted benefits. And there's a lot of veterans that don't get that or don't understand that. So that's why I'm here to get the word out, especially to everybody who knows a veteran or a parent of a veteran or a spouse of a veteran. Please lead them to my directions just for me to just double check and go over all their benefits and what they require and, and um, stuff like that. So in regards to benefits, um, veterans do receive health care now because that new PAC Act that President Biden signed really just set out a whole new cap for veterans requesting benefits. It takes away the red tape, it takes away, you know, um, disabilities that wasn't recognized back when they, when the veterans probably all come, went to apply for their benefits and was previously denied. Now it's pretty much open for all veterans to receive medical health care, no matter of income or, or anything like that. They, and it's good to speak to them. an engagement like this, older veterans, they give out free hearing aids. Um, you just gotta just go to an audiology test over at the VA clinic or hospital and they'll be able to do what they can for you. So that's why I'm here. I'm basically just putting the word out that there's a veteran service officer. I'm accredited both in the state and the federal that assists veterans with benefits. So if you have any questions, my office is literally you pass as you walk into here. So, anybody have any questions? Nobody? All right. Well, thank you. Oh, yes. Hi. Yes. Um, do the VA yes. provide caregiving benefits? Yes, they do. The VA does provide. Matter of fact, I'm working on a thing like that today. I've got a family coming in. Yes. So, for, better, for spouses or family members of a veteran who requires assistance, but does it get nursing care or anything like that at the residence? The family member who's taking care of that veteran can get compensated for their time and what they do for that veteran. They can get, all I have to do is just basically fill out a form saying who they are to that veteran and what services they provide. Cleaning, cooking, feeding, you know, giving medications and stuff like that, they'll get compensated for that. So, you know any veterans that require that or any family members that are doing that to a veteran? Please leave them my way, they can get compensated for that. On a monthly basis. Yes? Okay, one more thing. Does it have to be a family Correct. It doesn't have to be a family member either. It, has, it could be somebody, it could be a best friend, a, a, somebody that's tied with that veteran. Yes. <laughs> yes.
So my point was, don't wait. Yeah, don't wait. 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 Yes. Yes. It's not my head. It's the government. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Does break have anything to do with any approval or how much you're going to get? Does what? Break. Break? Oh, no. Oh, no. He wants to open it. Don't make it. All branches of service, as long as, that, as long as they have a discharge certificate saying they were only discharge, good job. And the majority of our veterans now are Vietnam veterans, um, but you know, age is coming in, time is in effect, so they are requiring assistance like that. So if you know any Vietnam veterans that are struggling or anything like that, please be in my way or just point of contact before they have to. Or you guys need to stop by my office and I'll give you all my information. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. So there's some veteran housing over where Silver Cross used to be. Are you affiliated? Well, that's no. We're not. We're not affiliated with that, but we know that they're a resource. That's the VOA, Volunteers of America. It's uh, Hope Man. They call it Hope Man. Mm -hmm. And what that is for veterans who are homeless that are mentally unstable to take care of themselves, so they house them there. They don't, the only thing difference between Hope Manor and one of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs um, veterans homes is that that Hope Manor doesn't take in like this is disabled veterans that they have, they need care. They're just homeless veterans. But that's the spot where they put it at because it's right next to the VA clinic. So if they require assistance, there's a clinic down the street. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Alright, well, I'm right outside the door. If you need anything, thank you. Okay, I know today's supposed to primarily be about veterans, but I want to, we have two businesses per se that come every month and they hand you guys these little gifts and, you know, they don't ever get a chance to explain who they are or what they are. Um, so I am going to ask Chris to come on up and she's going to talk about Home Watch Caregivers um, briefly and then Kara's going to talk about Senior Helpers briefly and then you guys can socialize, take out all you want. I'll be over at Julia Junior College learning sign language. So hold on one moment. I love my server, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I always pray for these wonderful times because volunteering is one of the most joyful things you can do in your life. Um, and you guys have the added advantage of being um, wise beyond your years, and you could do, we, we all can do so much. Regular decaf? Um, that's what home watch does. Thank you, we go into the home and we get appointments, driving to appointments, we help with shopping, we help with um, physical care if needed, showering, that type of thing. Um, and we really just want to do whatever it is that, that will benefit you. That is doing what um, home watch is all about. Anybody wants more information? does not cover caregiving yet. They keep talking about it. I know that the, a lot of the uh, advantage plans keep saying it's coming, it's coming. So far, it's not here. Medicaid does cover caregiving, but you have to go through a Medicaid provider. And that is not, my understanding, an easy thing to do. Um, also, if you're a vet, and I just saw a bunch of vets stand up, if you're a vet, 
you are, uh, if you go to your doctor, your VA doctor, they can give you caregiving uh, after up to 15 hours a week. And we would provide the caregivers for that. The caregivers are our employees. We've all been background checked, fingerprinted, we go through extensive orientation. So that's one way. The other thing is, if you have a long term care insurance policy, and that would have been something you would have purchased a while ago, and I, I don't think they issue them to 90 year olds right now, so. <laughs> but it would be something you would be paying on a monthly basis. And that could be through John Hancock, Jen Ward, there's multiple different life insurance policies. Other than that, it is client pay, um, but you know, we, are, we try to be as flexible as possible to get you the help that you need. And we can do as little as one hour up here, up to 24 hours up here. So it's very flexible based on your needs. So, any questions? Yes. If you say you're over 90, then they don't give you that care? No, it was just an example that long-term care policies need to be purchased when you're younger. Well, how do I do that now? <laughs> Are you younger though, ma'am? She's younger than 90. She's younger than 90. Wow. I think you know this. So, um, <laughs> I just learned this at my trivia night. You have to purchase it before December 15th, I believe? Is it open enrollment end December 15th? December 7th. But that's lots of reasons. It's considering changing your Medicare plan. And so that would be one thing that you would have to consider. Yeah. 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 Ye
she focuses on the things that they can still do and how we can delay that process of you know declining. So that's what we teach our caregivers and all of us here in the office also certified in our service. Parkinson's the same. We have in-house and online training. One of the other things that senior helpers now um, make it mandatory all the franchisees to do is to have a training center. So you can't just get an office with chairs and tables, no. You have to have a training center where you're going to do in-house training with the CNA, Certified Nurse Assistant or a nurse. So we do try to do that once or twice a month and get all of our caregivers existing and new because things change. <coughs> From just from May, now our caregiver is allowed to put fund aid on our client. Before that, we weren't allowed to do that. So things changes and evolves in home care. So this center gives us the opportunity to connect with our caregivers. Our caregivers in homes, we don't get to see them as often as we like or give them feedback. So that's our opportunity to do it in our office. So in my office in Borden Group, you walk in, you have the offices where we have to work and do the paperwork, but the back is the, it's like your living room. You have the bed, TV, you have the shower facility, the bathroom, and, we, and the kitchen, because you'd be surprised how many people don't know how to make a simple spaghetti bolognese. So, you know, you think caregiver, oh, okay, they, they can do it if they can't. So we do all of that training and we home in our center. And our recent research is that another thing that comes up in all lately, those clients are very important and not every agency takes it because if you don't show up to a client with the oil left, if the caregiver doesn't show up, guess what? That person can't get out of bed. So to avoid that and have more caregivers able to do oil left, including myself, we have a oil left in our center to make sure that we can train all of our caregivers and we make sure that person is not left without a caregiver. So other than that, uh, my information, um, my cards, and all the other information at this table, that's my client manager just called me this inspired me, and I'm the owner of the agency. You, are we going to be here until the end? Enjoy your breakfast and ask us any questions that you might have. Long-term insurance is great. I know we've already touched on it. And a lot of us that have it, don't use it, or the ones that have it, oh, I'll use it next year. Right? No, use it. It's that what it's there for. You pay for it when you're younger, you make sure you use it. It pays good money for your care. Any questions for me? I think Chris answered a lot of questions, it's easy for me. But thank you very much for your time and enjoy your day. Thank you. I, I've seen 
Tina is with the high school um, where the kids will come and take care of it. So maybe contact the high school and see if they have any kids. See if they have that program in place still. I was, like I said, I just took this program over back in January, so I'm still learning the ins and outs. If you don't get a response from the high school, I'm sure you have my, do, I, do you get your emails or do you get your letters through uh, the mail for the programs today? Okay, if you give Judy your contact information, uh, I will also reach out to the high school and find out if there is a program, and once I find that out, I will send out an email to everybody. Everybody might as well take advantage of it if the high school has a program. Um, and if they don't, maybe they can start one. Because I think it's a great idea. It's a, it's a great way for the kids to earn a few dollars and do your sidewalk. Right, right. Kids nowadays don't do what we, what you guys did as kids and what I did as a kid, and that's go around and offer and shovel the neighbor's driveway for a few dollars. They don't do it anymore. It's for no parents can volunteer. Right, right. I know, but I'm saying in general, they they also don't do that. I mean, the work ethic is not what it used to be. Um, I I'm fortunate where I do have one of my three kids that I have a neighbor down the street who's a World War II veteran. Um, so we always go down and we take care of his property, but the kids just don't do it anymore. It's unfortunate. So, anybody have any other questions or any needs that I can address? Okay, you guys have a great Thanksgiving, and thank you for coming today. And we will see you next month. And wear your ugly sweater because I'll be wearing.